right, today we are checking out my latest guitar acquisition, and that is this 2020 Reverend Sensei Jr. Um, I got this through a little wheelie and dealing I did with uh, Chris Malone. Um, I've talked about him in other videos. If you, uh, you know, are frequent, watch my videos frequently, or at least sometimes, hopefully. <laughs> you probably heard me mention him before, and um, you know what? I'm going to leave a link to his channel uh, down below, and um, maybe you'll be uh, seeing uh, one of my guitars in one of his videos. You never know. <laughs> um, so yes, um, he had did do some modifications to this, so this isn't all original, but um, the modifications he did I like, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, let's uh, just go over some specs. I uh, saved some here. Uh, the body is solid Karina, which um, is a do I do not have another guitar made of Karina, um, and the uh, neck is also Karina. Um, it's twenty four and three quarter inch scale, so it's like a Les Paul scale. Um, it's got a medium oval neck profile, uh, rosewood fretboard, 12 inch radius, uh, dual axe truss rod, um, Reverend pin lock locking tuners, which come standard on this. Um, and uh, then it talks about the electronics and all that stuff, but that's some of the stuff Chris changed. But um, I'll put a uh, picture of this up so you can see what the actual specs are, and then I'll talk about what uh, he's changed as well. But um, overall, this is just a really good playing guitar. I've had it for, uh, oh, I don't know, four or five days now, and it's the only guitar I've played during the four or five days. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, very happy. Um, the uh, neck is painted, so some people don't like that, but it's very smooth. plays really well. But I know some people don't like that. They like that, you know, more of a natural feel on that. But, yeah, um, nice body contours, so it, uh, you know, hugs you a little bit better than uh, some other guitars that are, you know, this kind of a shape. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, well, what did he do to it that's different? Um, this uh, originally comes with an actual soap bar pickup, Reverend Zone pickup. This is not. This is a DiMarzio Virtual PAF. And um, it just sounds great. I will definitely be doing a video about this pickup. <laughs> He put the uh, different tailpiece on here with the fine tuners, and um, that might seem a little bit redundant when you don't have a locking nut or anything. But um, I believe he does that, and I think it's a great idea if you're, you know, you play live a lot or something, and you want to tune to a chord. You know, you could, and then just fine tune to the chord. It's a lot easier than trying to get up in here and do it. So um, that is actually a cool option, I think. Um, uh, this is a uh, he replaced the value pot with a Burns low friction pot, which is great. Kill switch, and then this is just a coil split for the uh, pickup, which uh, really uh, gives you a different tone and uh, is very uh, well, just a very nice little option. <laughs>
All right, the Reverend Sensei Jr. Um, yes, um, looked at a few more specs to kind of give you an idea of what the actual real, if you bought one, it wouldn't be. I'm babbling. <laughs> um, originally, this was a volume, this was a tone, and this was a base contour knob, which I believe rolled off the base end, so it would definitely uh, alter the way things sound, um, which is uh, you know, which is cool. Um, these, this color is not available anymore, um, looking on their website. Um, I don't know what this color is actually called. But uh, it is now available in three different colors, and here they are. This is natural. Then they have one that's called Midnight Black. And then one called Metallic Alpine, which um, I think they all look cool. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, anything else that I think? 22 frets. Um, I'm... Yeah, I'm at Set Neck. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um... But yeah, I guess other than that, I don't really know uh, what else to say about it. <laughs> I just love it. I just think it plays great. Uh, you will definitely be seeing this in uh, a lot of upcoming videos. Um, and um, well, this pickup, I just love this pickup. So yeah, you're definitely going to be seeing this. Um, and uh, like I say, I will be doing a separate video on this pickup because, um, well, yeah, I'm uh, kind of repeating myself. <laughs> Sorry, um, if you don't got um, my... Oh, geez, I can't even speak. <laughs> If you don't mind a guy babbling about guitars and guitar-related shit, please, please hit that subscribe down there and um, help me grow the channel, um, leave a comment, like it, um, you know, all that type of shit, and um, I, yeah, I will uh, see you in the next video.